Hello guys, welcome back to an all new video of Love Your Life. I hope that you guys are enjoying the series so far and today's video is going to be a video about decluttering and my journey to minimalism. I am definitely not sitting here in front of you saying that I am a minimalist and that I have accomplished this task in life, but I am on the journey to a more minimalistic lifestyle. As some of you guys know, and some of you may not know, I am currently in the process of moving. I let you guys know on my Instagram, I do Instagram story Q and A's a lot, and I was answering your questions, letting you guys know that I was in the process of moving in with Alex. A lot of you guys send me DMs and stuff and ask when we're gonna be moving in together and all that stuff, so it's happening right now. Currently saying goodbye to the apartment that I've been in for the last three to four years, like three and a half years. It's really crazy to look around this room and see it just completely empty. This move is every, has everything to do with finding the love of my life, like the person that I know that I want to spend my life with and my time with. And that's a really, really special feeling. And, you know, um, life is freaking crazy. And so I'm currently in the process of moving into a new place in Santa Monica, which I am so excited about. It is a bit bigger, it is airier, it has more space, it is more bright and beautiful and windows and it's just really I'm really happy and I'm here right now and I'm just looking around and I just love the space a lot because I am moving currently I have been thinking a lot more about decluttering and about all the things that I have because I feel like when you're moving you're just thinking like why do I have all these things why am I putting these in boxes and bringing them with me I don't need these things I haven't looked at them for three years what is this so I'm just in this process of one realizing that I want to declutter my life and I just want less things I'm also realizing waste a lot more there's a lot more documentaries that I've been paying attention to and watching and just life in general when dealing with plastic and the oceans and the effects that human beings have on this planet and I'm starting to realize that things like fast fashion and just items that we don't use that we just have and they end up in the ocean or in landfills and just cause a bunch of waste which in turn hurts our planet. So I've just been paying attention a lot more about my effects that I have as an individual. And because of all these things put together, I have decided to change up my lifestyle a little bit more and just be a little bit more mindful about the things that I bring into my life and the way that I kind of just organize my space and how I go about life in general. So that's what we will get into now. I'm Carrie Rad. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button before we get into the video and make sure that you have notifications turned on so that you never miss a new video from me. And if you are coming back again, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here and let's get into it. Decluttering is something that I like to do pretty often in my life. There are different types of people when it comes to decluttering. I am the type of person that gets stressed out when there's too many things. If I open up a drawer and it's a junk drawer and there's just way too many things that I don't use in this drawer, I get instant anxiety. I hate too many things around in my space. The Virgo in me likes things to be organized and I like to know what I have and where it is. And if you're anything like me, we live our best lives when things are organized, sorted, and when we know what we have and that there's not just like random bags of things that we haven't touched in three years. I get so much anxiety when I just have things that I don't know what, I'm like, what is in that box? I haven't even touched that box. What, like, what is this? And it's just crap that I don't need. I just, it gives me anxiety. So there's people like that. And then there's also people who hold on to things because they feel attached to them because they have memories with these items and it's definitely an emotional process. Keeping things in your life that are materialistic things, they can definitely have an emotional effect on us, whether they are making us feel like we're drowning in all of them or they can make us feel safe and like if something happens, at least we have this. A lot of people feel like things are going to run out and that they don't want to get rid of them because what if they need it someday and i completely understand those thought processes it's just knowing exactly where you stand and how you are emotionally 
attached or not attached to some items to kind of figure out what you can keep and what you want to get rid of and how it's just going to be for you emotionally. It will take a toll on you to go through boxes and through a lot of stuff that you have. It is definitely an emotional process. Do not get me wrong. It is not easy, but once you come through to the other side and you have a more simplistic life, a more minimal lifestyle, and you just don't have things that are weighing you down, it feels so, so good. So once you've distinguished exactly what type of person you are and you've come to the realization of, okay, one, I need to get rid of things, and two, this is going to be difficult for me or this is actually gonna be really great process for me and it's gonna be extremely therapeutic, it's good to know exactly where you're gonna be in the whole process and be mindful of how you might take it. Now that you know that, it is time to start thinking about the pieces that you want to get rid of. So when you look at an item, what I like to do, I say, does this bring me happiness? And two, does it add value to my life somehow? And if the answer is no to those questions, then you need to figure out exactly how you are going to remove them from your life. So are you going to sell them on Poshmark? Are you going to donate them? Are you gonna give them to a friend? What exactly are you going to do? I really like the process of going through each thing. I especially do this with clothes and then also just items in my kitchen and just items in junk drawers, whatever it might be. I just say, okay, not gonna keep that, donating this, donating this, donating this. Oh, I like this, but I don't use it very often. I'm gonna sell this on Poshmark, which side note, if you have not checked out my Poshmark, my Poshmark is at Carrie Rad, and I sell a lot of really cool pieces that I've worn maybe once or maybe never have even worn at all. So definitely keep a lookout for my Poshmark because I will be selling a lot of stuff over there because I'm going through all of my wardrobe right now. And then I will also think about donation. And if I don't feel like selling this on Poshmark, I will donate it. Another thing that I really like to do is find a buy sell trade store to go to. I go into Crossroads Trading Company a lot with a bag of clothes and I will try to sell to them, which you don't make very much money off of your clothing, but it's still an option. And if they don't want to buy it, then I just tell them to donate. And I do that quite often. I really love decluttering continuously throughout my life. But what I'm trying to do right now is get to a point where I have completely decluttered my life and I'm really living in a minimalistic lifestyle. And then moving forward, really questioning how badly I need each thing that I bring into my life moving forward. So each piece of clothing, I want to really not have anything like it. I'm working on doing a capsule wardrobe, which if that is a video you guys would like to see, I would love to create a video like that for you guys. So give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if that's something that you do want to see because I'd love to create that for you guys. I think it's so easy now with the internet and buying things online, we can just so easily with a click of a button have something delivered to our house so instantly. It's just too easy to purchase things nowadays. So we just have to take a step back and really think about what we actually need and want in our life. I was listening to the audiobook The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo and it inspired me to do it all at once and it didn't inspire me right when I listened to it but it inspired me to do it eventually and this move has given me the push that I needed to just do it all at once. I think that there's different ways that you could do it, right? You could slowly but surely get rid of things every week or so until you feel like you're making a dent in your space. But I think that a really important thing to do and my advice would be to go off of an urge that you might feel. So if you open your closet one day before work and you look at your clothes, you're just like, I have so much clothes, but I literally have nothing to wear. I know that that happens to people all the time. It happens to me all the time. And there's an urge that we get where we think, okay, I, want to do a purge and potentially after this purge I can do a little bit of like a repurchase to just 
a little bit of things that I really want. Maybe you want to update your wardrobe. Maybe you need to update your wardrobe, but you just have so much stuff. So you've just been like, I don't want to buy anything else because I know I have clothes, but I feel like I have nothing to wear. You can definitely go in with that urge and go, okay, it's Thursday today. I can't find anything to wear. So this weekend I'm going to do an entire purge and I'm going to reevaluate my entire closet because when you do a purge, you will be very surprised by how much clothes you actually have. You will rekindle the love for some of your pieces that you didn't even realize were there. They've just been like pushed to the back of the closet for so many years maybe. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I forgot about this amazing jacket that I have because it's been hidden behind all of these clothes that I never wear. Of course there are things that I wanna hold on to because they have sentimental value to them. There's things that I can't imagine getting rid of because they belong to my grandmother or they were a hand-me-down from my mom, something that she used when she was my age. But there are things that are sentimental that I have gotten rid of because I have so many sentimental things in my life. So I have to reevaluate if every single sentimental piece that I have is something that needs to stay in my life. The most important things that are dear to my heart I will keep in my life, like the acting books that my grandmother gave to me or any any like jewelry pieces that my mom gave to me and like my grandmother's scarf I like to keep in my bedroom and things like that. There's just random objects that you're you just know that you won't use in your life. You won't use this as a decorative piece. So you have to realize that the memories you have in your life are in your heart and in your mind and they don't belong to a materialistic item. And there are things that you want to keep that will remind you of that person. Please, by all means, do that 100% because I do that. But not everything in your life you have to keep because it has a sentimental memory to it. This is going to be a journey for me and I'm glad that I have you guys along on the road with me because it's not an easy journey and I'm not perfect at it by any means at all. There are probably too many things that I have right now and I want to get rid of more things as well and I'm not a minimalist but I'm on the journey to becoming a person who lives a more minimalist lifestyle. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about minimalism. I wanna hear your thoughts on it. And I know I asked you guys about that last month in Self Care Summer and so many of you guys had so much to say and I wanna hear more about that. I really loved your guys' advice and so many of you are living as a minimalist and I think that that is so cool. So let me know what helps you guys live a lifestyle like this. Let me know your failures. Let me know all of the things. I wanna hear them all. I'm creating this video because of two things, because I'm excited about living a clutter-free life. I'm excited about living a more organized life. It intrigues me, I'm so into it, and I love living like that. But I'm also doing this because I think the effects that we have on this planet are really devastating. And I watched Blue Planet 2 recently and I saw the effects that we have on the ocean and it, floored me. It sent me into this whole like world of just like, what are we doing? And it, it was really impactful to me in that way. It, it really opened up my mind and my heart to what we're doing to this planet. And so it's, making me want to change my lifestyle and that's the honest truth that is it for my uh, journey to minimalist video and decluttering and all that good stuff i hope that you guys liked this video there will be more videos coming up just like this one very soon where we go more into you know the capsule wardrobing and like what i've decided to get rid of um and all that good stuff i will see you guys very soon in an all new episode of love your life series in the meantime let's be friends on instagram i'm there every single day so i'll see you guys very soon in the next one